I have trouble in my own teaching, or had trouble in my own teaching, with uh, materials like this. I guess this is really the one I had trouble with. The shape of it is referred to as a tetrahedron. But my eyes are such that I don't have great depth of vision. And a lot of my students either didn't have depth of vision or I couldn't lead them through it properly. One or the other or both, I don't know. And when I look at a model like that, I see five spheres. I, I don't see a tetrahedron. I know in my head that it is, but I don't see it. However, when I look at something like this, I do see a tetrahedron. And that piece of paper I, would be better out of cardboard, but I didn't have any cardboard handy, it's a thin, very thin cardboard. That tetrahedron uh, is made in a very simple way. And I'll, and I'll go over to the, uh, to the easel and try to show you how. If we look uh, on either side of that line, that triangle and this triangle are each equilateral triangles, six inches to the side. So all of these lengths are six inches. And you can see how with uh, my pair of compasses, I uh, drew uh, an equilateral triangle uh, by uh, measuring six inches with my uh, compasses and then uh, getting the point of intersection with equal sides all, all three ways. I then cut that, so I had two triangles, and, and just cut that triangle out and that triangle. And then just made a light cut there, there, and there. The midpoints of each of the sides. And what you ended up with is what I have here. This is one of the triangles. This is one of the triangles. This is the other one with the sides folded up and, in this, and taped, just ordinary scotch tape. And the interesting thing that I want to show you is if you, uh, which, uh, my students always said that this looks a lot bigger than this. But if you look at it carefully and just put the, the ball and spring model inside the paper, it's a perfect fit. Uh, so two tetrahedra. Now let's carry that a step further. I made the same thing out of a sheet of transparency plastic. Now the students can see inside the tetrahedron as to how the uh, molecule is, uh, is oriented. The central atom being a carbon atom and uh, hydrogen atoms at each of the extremities, at each of the apices. What good is that? Well, let me show you. Uh, this one isn't taped together, but we'll use it this way. There is the molecule C2H6. I can't, uh, I've got to hold that in my hand because it, it won't lie flat. There's C2H6, just like this mo molecule right here. Uh, if we did it with these two, well, I guess I can do it like this. There we go, almost. You can see uh, the single bond uh, between the carbons. Uh, you don't see the spokes there. Uh, that, that would be single bond in C2, H4, H3, 4, 5, 6. 
Uh, or if you like, take it a, a step further and look at a double bond. Uh, this would be C2H4. With, uh, instead of the apices joining, uh, the, uh, you've got the double bond in the center, C2, C2H2, H4. Uh, this would be C2H2. Hydrogen atoms here, triple bond in the center, C2H2. Uh, my students found it useful to see tetrahedra, and from that we could go on to other concepts in organic chemistry.